Welcome guys back to the channel. If you are new, I appreciate you tuning into this video. If you're returning, I appreciate you as well. Y'all already know the deal. We're gonna be checking out this new jersey that I got. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure if you're on this video, you're probably a DeMar DeRozan fan or maybe even just a Bulls fan or maybe you just watch the NBA and you wanna know exactly how these jerseys fit. So I'm gonna give you that insight specifically for the Bulls jersey, of course. You see that number 11 on the back. We got DeMar DeRozan in the building. So we're gonna throw this bad boy on, see how it fits. I'll let you know what size I got. Um, and yeah, any other further reference for how it fits, how it's crafted, how it feels. Um, bare skin, shirt underneath, so you guys kind of know how you can rock it, what you can rock it with, and we'll go from there. So without any further ado, gotcha. Oh! Y'all already know what shirt I'm wearing first though. This is my brand, Prove em Lifestyle. Y'all already know, it'll be right there, shopprovemlifestyle.com. If you want to get these tees, we also have sweaters of the same type of design. We got the Prove em on the front, and the clock is ticking on the back. So y'all see the digital print, the clock never stops ticking, life only goes on. So y'all know what time it is. You gotta keep going, the clock is ticking. Let's put this thing on. So as you can see, I'm already prepared to get this thing on. But I wanna make one key point right now. This thing is completely wrapped from the top to bottom in this kind of paper. Meaning, if anything were to get on the bag or on the inside of the bag, most likely your jersey will still be protected. And this is from top to bottom. You see this little part here, it's exposed, but it was folded over. So it's not actually gonna be touching the exterior or the interior of the bag, but exposed to any exterior components of the bag were to get ripped in any type of shipping formation, um, you know, transporting and handling. So that's a pretty good observation. People may wonder exactly why they wrap these things. That has to be one of the purposes why. It's just a good look for the team. So I appreciate them doing that because you guys gotta agree with me. It's gotta be one of the worst things if you get something brand new and it stains immediately or it already comes stained. You don't want that. Oh! 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 Okay, so you guys see how this thing's fitting. It is fitting immaculate. The size that I went with is a large, me personally, I'm right on six feet tall, approximately 165 to 170 pounds fluctuation. Uh, but yeah, yeah, honestly, this thing fits hella nice. Let me do a quick spin around. So you can see, right? The armholes, literally perfect. You know, not too big, not too small. Same with the other side, obviously. Be symmetrical. Let me back up a bit so you guys can see a bit better, right? You see how the front is? Doesn't come down too low. Very nice, honestly, I like this thing. And on bare skin, it still feels all right. Nothing's irritating me right now. All you feel, I'll actually I'll tell you in a sec. You see the back? What you feel at most is kind of the seams that connect the two different fabrics from the side here and maybe just along here as well. But aside from that, everything else is pretty well seamless. Nothing really bothers me underneath. It just feels like a, you know, like a jersey, which is good. Sometimes jerseys can get a bit itchy or the way they connect the seams can make it uncomfortable. It can feel like it's kind of beating up your skin, but this honestly feels all right. And the cuts are very nice. I honestly, I feel like I don't even have to put like a T under this or anything to feel comfortable wearing it. I probably will depending on the situation where I'm going. If I'm just kicking it around the house, chilling with the boys, whatever, you know, I could probably just rock it like this, no problem. And especially on the hot days, this is what these are for. So I'll definitely enjoy it. One day on the beach, I'm looking forward to that. So also real quick, cause I'm gonna put a shirt under so you can see how it looks from that perspective as well. How much it costs me. So. I got this shirt on sale. I had a 30% coupon or something like that through the NBA store or um, for the Chicago Fanatics store, I believe. So it cost me $117 US, which then after, you know, the conversion fee, it cost me about 160 something dollars Canadian. Um, but these regularly retail at 120, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so these retail at 120. You could see right here, that's the original tag. Um, I say 117 because that's what it was after tax, mind you. So after tax and everything else calculated, it came to 117. And then the US to Canadian conversion had to happen because I live in Canada. But um, 
yeah, for you guys, or if you're just buying straight from straight American, whatever it is, the price, full price, regular price will be 120 US. So um, if you got to do the Canadian uh, conversion, good luck to you. That's why I waited to use a discount code. But at the same time, I did really want a jersey. I don't know why, but for the longest time, I could not find these on the website. So as soon as I checked it up and found them, I had to make a purchase regardless. But yeah, certainly if you guys aren't in a rush, you can find discount codes, just be patient. And the discount codes honestly do make a difference because don't forget, if you're not paying any other extra expenses that could come you know, with this kind of stuff, between shipping, uh, duties, if you live in Canada, whatever it is, you want that little discount. It does make a difference in the long run. So definitely not a bad thing. Okay, so this is how it's looking with the T underneath. And honestly, this thing's still looking pretty damn clean. I gotta say, I'm liking it. See from the back, everything's cool. Everything is, is very nice with this thing, man. I can't complain, for real. I may even have to rock it like this after all, because it's it's still like, it, it adds a bit to the white. I feel like with some white kicks, it would kick off the outfit even more. So yeah, yeah, for real, I gotta say, if you were to wear long sleeves with this thing too, depending on the weather, you could definitely still kill the game. Um, you know, lots of versatility with it. And then also, don't be shy. You could wear red underneath if you're really bold, but also you could wear black, of course. Black goes with anything. You might even be able to get away with gray, but don't quote me on that. I'm not gonna try it today. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying. So I may definitely have to go out wearing this thing right now because I've been waiting a long time to wear it, honestly, between making the video, but also waiting for it to come through. Uh, yeah, definitely wanna wear this thing out. So I hope y'all enjoyed. If this video helped you at all, you know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Refer this video to your friends. Let them use this as a guide. Use the comment section as forms so that way you guys can ask questions, have them get answered, and other people can go down there and do the same and get a better understanding on how these things fit, what their price range is, maybe what they're looking for. Like I said, my size was a large, the price 120 regular, right? I got it with a discount, but Stay tuned for discount codes, not for me, but just in general on the Fanatic sites or the NBA store. Sometimes they'll have discount codes you could use towards making your order cheaper, of course. And don't forget, it does pay off in the long run to save that little bit of cash. Y'all know how it is financial literacy nowadays. We gotta stay up on it. So y'all know what time it is. The clock is ticking. Prove them. Later.